Yeah, to your point, um, Jordan Berry's always been fine at the beginning of the season, but like two of the last three weeks last year, he shanked one against the Bills, with the game that we were at in a huge spot, went like 10 yards, and then in the last game against the Ravens, he dropped one in the rain and then got his soul taken from him, and then the Ravens <laughs> scored a touchdown literally on that play. Yeah. Yeah, see, that was when I was getting a lot of tweets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, those particular moments were moments I was getting a lot of tweets on. But people are calling me Matt Groening, uh, saying that I'm fucking mm-hmm. seeing the future and all yep. that stuff. I mean, I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty. How do you combat it. those uh, conditions? Okay, like here you go. So you hold on to the ball longer. Mm. Okay, so anybody, anytime you see a punter that has a high drop and the ball free falls a lot, you can automatically assume that they are not going to do great if there's any weather conditions. So if you hold on to the ball longer and drop it lower, then there's less room for air and wind, literal air and error of the ball moving. So Dustin Colquitt holds the ball basically and kicks it out of his hand. That's why he's always been good in freezing cold Kansas City. That's why he's been always good in wind. That's why Jordan Berry, him being on the Steelers for as long as he was, was very surprising to me because that is not a division where you can drop the ball from a high spot, which, by the way, you drop it higher, your leg has more room to get through it so you can hit these moon shots. Mm. If you hold on to it a little bit longer, you got to drop it lower. So Dustin Colquitt won't hit the big ball that Jordan Berry hits, but he won't hit the small ball that Jordan Berry hits either. Inconsistency is how you get rich in the game of NFL punting because there's a lot of people that have massive legs. A lot of people. You you could, you can go to any kicking camp and you'll see a motherfucker with a massive leg. I mean, when I was 16, 17 years old, I was kicking 70-yard field goals and I was punting. If I wanted to punt a ball, I could hit a ball forever. But the consistency thing is what you get paid from. And normally those guys who drop the ball high or potentially have a lot of free fall, it's not a lot of consistency because the ball can move. And it's not their fault. It's mostly what's happening in the air. That's why punting is like this this much of a make or break, and uh, nobody even knows how hard it is. So holding on to the ball longer, dropping it lower, and having a little bit more control on said drop, which is the most important part of the entire thing. Obviously, you have to have a little bit of a leg. That is the most important thing. And that's why Dustin Colquitt's going to do so good there because he holds on to that. Summit. Sam Cook for the Baltimore Ravens, he punts that thing out of his hand, basically. I mean, there's like there's different stuff. Thomas Morstead. He'll hang on to that ball for as, as long as he possibly can. For me, I'm not as flexible, so that was a little bit difficult because, you know, my hand and leg don't <laughs> yeah, match up. Yep. But that is a big-time thing that Jordan Berry did not do that I was very impressed that he lasted as long as he did, especially in that world. I was like, I don't know how the fuck he's still hitting the ball. I'd be so scared if I was him, by the way, because I used to drop the ball like that, and then I ran into some weather, and I was just so bad. And I remember in warm-ups, like the mental battles that Jordan Berry had to be going through in warm-ups, oh, I do not miss those. Like every once in a while, I'll be like, do I, do I want to ever go back into the game? Do I ever want to get back into the game? And I'll be like, uh, maybe on my motorcycle or on my uh, my car or whatever. And I'll look at a flag, and the flag just sits. <laughs> and I'll never forget like Sunday mornings, waking up and looking at my hotel room and looking at another hotel that has like a flag on top of it, and those flags just being completely fucking erect or whatever, and just yeah. being like today's going to suck. And then just for five, six hours there, you just got to hope that you don't catch a wind gust on your drop because it can be ugly. It can be very, very ugly. Fun fact, now that the uh, Steelers have a former Pro Bowl at punter, they now have a former Pro Bowler at every single position group. So, Whew. You guys feel real good, huh? I do. Colquitt made a Pro Bowl. Um, he was my uh, – the year I retired, I opted out or whatever. Oh, he was the uh, – He went that year, yeah. So I think he's been a couple times now. Twice. Yeah, he's been voted. He went the year. He sent me a text. He was like, hey, you're not going, but I am getting another Pro Bowl trip. I'm like, hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, had a, he did a golf swing out there when he dropped one. He's very good. Colquitt is very, 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 very good. And there I, won't be any uh, holding issues, right, since he's been in the league no, for so long? Great holder. He wears two gloves, I think, which is interesting for the holding part. He's a lefty, too. Lefties are always so much smoother, man. It feels like in everything, lefties are just smoother. Mm. And, you know, the ball turns over the opposite direction. Yeah. So the Patriots did it for so long. So it's got to mean something. You know what I mean? It's yeah. got to mean something. I'm happy. I think Jordan Berry, if he lands in another spot, a little bit better weather, look out. Jacksonville. <laughs> Send him down there. They're going to be punting a lot. A little breezy down there in Jacksonville. Oh, really? A little mm-hmm. breezy down there in Jacksonville. Mm. Ball flies down there, though. Humidity, I always liked. I liked heavy humidity. Or elevation. Why is that? Oh, elevation. I just felt like the ball floated longer in humidity. And that might have been completely my dumbass mind. Like, oh, the air's thicker. The whole lot. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the ball's going to fucking fly today. It's humid. You see how fat this ball is? And the air's thicker? Oh, it's going to fly forever today. I I I would think think the humidity would push it down. Well, if it wasn't for the wind in my face, I wouldn't be able to fly. But you put that wind behind you, you fly a lot fucking faster. (laughs) You know what I mean? Plus, the ball gets a little wet up there from the humidity. It's a little slipper. 
I like heavy ball too. Like rain, I always did well in the rain because it felt like the ball was a little bit heavier. It might beat people with smaller legs, but for me, I felt like the heavier it was, if I can get this thing going, it'll go further. Going. And these are all mental things that happen to try to um, convince yourself that everything's completely okay. <laughs> Does your but, leg speed change? Like when it's raining and stuff like that? Like Leg speed? Harder? Yeah. No, leg speed only changes with like age, I think. But leg speed was my big thing. Yeah. So I had crazy leg speed. I didn't have a lot of flexibility. So Colquitt has great flexibility. His technique is perfect. His fundamental. And he'll end with his leg like up over his head. He's like the, him and his brother, by the way, have like perfect form. Just like me. Uh -uh. It was just, <laughs> we were swinging as hard as we Kate fucking can. Bitch, yeah. We are swinging as hard as we can. And by the way, that's why my knee almost got ripped off like a fucking chicken wing a few times. <laughs> and there are just like completely smooth so clay matthews leg speed I, I don't leg speed kind of changes as you get tired which is by the way the punters that don't leave the ground when they punt yeah. i always think towards the end of the year don't have it anymore yeah and that potentially happens for some punters on teams that are in this room right now yeah it's what's that time? Uh, that guy was great the first four weeks of the season he's kind of dog shit after that <laughs> but you know to your Jay point that seemed like that's what happened see Come he on. doesn't leave the ground though so his, his jk scott for instance great punter fucking great punter Watching him in Alabama was a lot of fun. The guy hits bombs, right? He won a game for Green Bay last year. Yeah. But I was always very intrigued by the fact that he doesn't leave his le his the ground, really. It's all just a one-leg move. I'm not strong enough to do that. I needed my entire body to jump and get in there. But by late in the year, I would even be tired. So you would see me trying to jump even more to get through it. For those people that don't jump and it's just strictly one-leg operation, I don't know how they stay as strong throughout the entire year. And their leg speed slows down. And if your leg speed slows down, then you potentially hit a ball fat which means it doesn't turn over so not only does it fly shorter because you're not hitting the ball as hard as it is but now you're not even hitting it as clean so wow. it has no chance i mean that that can really happen there's a lot of fucking shit <laughs> into play now that i'm thinking about it all. yeah i mean you can just see like from the, those first couple weeks like how much he was losing in explosivity towards the end of it and like i mean you know you, if you never punt you have no idea like why it's it's like that but when you think about that, it's like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what was happening. Yeah, you do, it's just one leg. Like, hey, all right, we're banking all on this to do perfect every single time. It's mm -hmm. like, what if you get a little strain? You get a little strain in there, you're in trouble. See, I used to be able to battle through, you know, a lot of things because <laughs> it was an entire body operation. Mm -hmm. You know, my entire body was fighting for that thing. Hell, yeah. I used to jump, 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 jump. But then I had to dial it back because I was starting to get a bit inconsistent. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it was as if somebody was crow hopping in the batter's box. <laughs> <laughs> but boy, when I hit it, hey, that's all. When I hit it, yeah. going to the moon. It's a ball. You should have seen when I was at those kicking camps, and I would get a hold of a couple of those people. Would be like, whoa, holy shit! I hit a ball down at Pitt, uh, Pitt's practice field that is still going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was the biggest ball I've ever hit, Nick. How hungover? No, we're still. I was asleep on the field, but I saw that ball. Big one. We fucking got after it in Pittsburgh. <laughs> and I completely forgot I, I was supposed to go to a kicking camp the next morning. So I got like a text. I was like, hey, you still coming here? I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way or whatever. And we were just waking up, you know? So I wake up, Nick. I'm like, hey, we got to go, man. He's like, where? Like, we just got home like an hour or two ago. It's like, we got to go. So we go to this kicking camp. It's at Pitt's practice facility. And I'm trying to stay away from like the, the co it's a bunch of college kids. I'm trying to stay away from all the college kids because I obviously reek. <laughs> Smell like a brewery. <laughs> I mean, it was still quite a night or whatever. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go warm up over here. I never warm up. So I was just like trying to figure out how to warm up. But then I was almost puking during the warm up. And then it got to like the kicking part. And I was like, all right, I'll come do this. And people kind of got to stay away a little social distance. I hit a couple balls during that thing that I would assume people left there and was like, what the fuck is McAfee on? <laughs> I hit some ball. I, I thought I put a hole in the roof of the UPMC practice facility. I mean, it was still, to this day, the biggest ball I've ever hit in my life. And I was 45 minutes of sleep, potentially, yeah. and I crow hopped into it. I mean, it was an entire thing. And it'd be really cool if I could have done that every single time. <laughs> but it's just a little inconsistent, a little inconsistent. Have you ever think about, you know, maybe swigging a bottle? Before there it is. The <laughs> game. That's what it, you know, little swing loop. Hey, yeah. little swing loop. Yeah. Uh, no, I never wanted to do that. I never wanted there to be a reason for me to fuck up because once you did, you know, it was like college if I ever showed up to practice hungover or whatever in the spring or fall whenever. And uh, those were always my best days because if you do bad those days, everybody's going to call you an alcoholic yeah. and tell you you can't do anything. So if they know, like if they could, I can see it in your eyes, McAfee, you had a night last night. It's like, no, 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 no. I was in. If they know and you do bad, 
then you're in trouble. Mm. But those days where you show up, it's like Jordan, game six, you're gonna walk in. Can't be going out, I can't be locked in my house for the next three years, okay? <laughs> Gotta be able to still be able to do this. Clear those eyes out, kid. Hit the ball big. <laughs> Turns out all the times I fucked up, normally when I was like trying to take care of myself too much. <laughs> I got into yoga one time, ball stopped flying. I was like, oh, done stretching. Done with that. Done with that. Hey, where's the pizza? <laughs> Get back in there.